I actually just got this. I've never used it before, so I'm going to try it out right now. I normally put on a moisturizer before I do my concealer and like foundation. I normally use the Olay, but let's try this one today. It says follow immediately with makeup. Normally the moisturizers that I use are like for bed or like just like a moisturizer, but I don't really know if they're like meant to be with makeup. It smells like real like roses. I don't know, it smells really good. I just put this everywhere. Except for my eyelids. I don't put moisturizer on my eyelids because my eyelids are already super oily, so I try to avoid that area, but skin feels kinda tacky, but I kinda like that. I feel like the makeup will sit nicely on there. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer, but I'm not using a lot because it's really, really full coverage. And I only wanna put a little bit on my under eyes. Like three little dots. And then I'm just gonna blend that out using my finger. Honestly, you can use this stuff like foundation, like you can just put it everywhere. It's so thick, thick, thick. So with the extra that's like on our fingers, I'm just gonna cover. So I'm just gonna cover this pimple right here. I'm just building this stuff up and taking the extra and putting it on little like, pimples around my face. Like I have two over here. Just try to cover them. To build it up, like I'd rather go in with a little bit than a lot. So I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna put add some extra to my under eyes because my under eyes are super super dark. So I would like to cover that up. Don't forget to get the insides. I feel like that's where most people are dark. I really like this up. I found it at work and they were giving it away so I was like, um, I'm gonna take it because I don't really have anything for makeup forever besides that. And I think like mascara, but it sound it seems like a really good brand. I use the airspun powder, which I'm sure you guys have all seen all over the internet. I feel like this is like raved about. This is like so good. I've, I've had this for like two years, I think, and I still have more. Like I use it every single day. Obviously not every day, like there's been a few times I've used other powders, but like pretty much every other day I've used this, I would say, like in the long run. I use this all the time. Obviously I don't wear makeup every day, but like whenever I do, this is like my go-to. The only thing I don't like about this is the packaging. I feel like they should fix it because it's such a famous powder and the packaging is just kind of like annoying. I know like it explodes on people and it gets everywhere. They should make like a netting or something. They probably will eventually. But I'm just gonna set my under eyes so that they don't crease and then I'll do my whole face. So I normally don't do any of the stuff I'm showing you. Like I never um, set with a brush. I normally set with a beauty blender. But I think I'm gonna film a different video which is gonna be like my everyday makeup tutorial and I'll do what I do every single day. Like this is a little different. I don't wanna have like the same videos. So I'm just setting over the pimples that I covered I mean, obviously, they're not covered perfectly. Like, I could have went in with more, but I don't really care enough to set it like that well. I'd rather just be, like, a little bit, and then, you know, if it's showing through, I don't really care. So now that our face is all set, I'm going in with my bronzer, the Milani. This is the best bronzer of all time. It's so beautiful on the skin. I literally recommend this to everyone, but... It's just so good. It's like a really pretty shade. Oh, it's in the shade Dolce. And I just take my brush. I put a lot of bronzer on. I'm not gonna lie. This, you know how they do like the, like a three? That's pretty much what I do. I also put this on my cheeks like a blush. I don't wear a blush, but I like using this shade. It kind of just, I feel like you could honestly use this as a blush and it just looks really nice on the skin. So I mix it all. I use this everything. Sometimes I use it as eyeshadow too. I like to set my face as I like to take my setting spray. This is my favorite. The Milani Make It Last. I think the Milani does a lot of deals, like buy one get one half off, so you can get this and the bronzer. It's really good. I'm gonna spray my face like this. And then I like to just go in with the Beauty Blender. Pounce it over everything to make sure it's all like locked. And then that's it, we have our base on. 
so I never used to fill in my eyebrows but I feel like recently this tail stops and this one kind of goes down so I like to even it out so I take any um, eyebrow brush will do it really doesn't matter all I do is go on my left eyebrows fill in right over here a little bit ah, and then I just comb it out and then it kind of drags down some of the color and now it looks a little bit more even with this side and I don't even fill up the other side I kind of just do that and that's it and then I will set them so that they don't move around with a clear eyebrow gel my favorite is the cover girl I know that Anastasia has a makeup like a clear brow gel but I think it's like 25 or 20 dollars and honestly I go through it so much and I feel like mascaras and like brow gels are something that I go through all the time it's like I wouldn't spend a lot of money on it because I know I'm gonna keep repurchasing it so I honestly don't really know what I want to do with my eyes I think I'm gonna do some eyeshadow I haven't done eyeshadow in a while but right, we're gonna use the Tartlet palette because I have not really used it in a long time and it's really really good so I'm gonna take the shade super mom it they're all matte shades so it's really really good uh, to work with and to like use as like starting colors I don't know I've heard mixed reviews on this palette but I really like it force of nature and I'm just gonna put this in my crease shade and I'm gonna put that right over top of that and I'm just gonna blend the edges okay, so in the crease I'm gonna take the shade uh, dreamer I'm gonna put some on the outer corner And then I'm going to put some on the inner corner. Okay, so now you can see we have like the outer corner and the inner corner with brown, but we don't really have anything on the middle. So I'm going to take a different shade, um, a different palette because this has all matte colors. I love the Ciate one, the Chloe Morello, um, what's it called, collab. Um, I'm going to take the shade, let's see, I think I'm going to take the shade Shine Bright, like a gold color. I'm just going to whip the brush and put it into this color. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And then I'm going to take that shade again. I'm actually going to take a shade in here. I'm going to take the shade on fire. And I'm just going to connect the colors that were on the inner corner and the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this brush again and blend. Blend. Dainty. And use it as my highlighting shade. And then the last thing I'm going to do 
is that mascara. This is like my favorite combination when I'm doing eyeshadow because I like to take this one and use it for my back lashes and make them really long. And then I go in with this one and I make them really clumpy and long and dramatic and stuff like that. So you'll see. you guys that completes this video this is just a super easy gold brown glittery smoky eye so after mascara that's it i don't really put on lips i'm trying to find a lighting like in my room where you can't really see like all this but can't really find that so i just want to say thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video okay bye